Hello guys, I'm James for Kit Guru and I'm feeling the Christmas spirit today. So we've got a absolutely brilliant competition giveaway from Razor. If you want to be in with a chance to win this brilliant competition, make sure you head over to the kitguru.net website uh, where all the details of the competition entry will be available. And if you've not already subscribed to the Kit Guru channel, make sure you do that today to be in with a brilliant chance of winning all this lot. And as always, you can connect with us through our social media channels, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Discord. And if you want to help support Kit Guru, we would really appreciate it if you head over to our store and pick up some of the Kit Guru merch. So on to the competition. We have an absolutely brilliant mini ITX system to give away. Razer has teamed up with other brands and sent us a bunch of parts over. And it's going to be built inside this new... Razor Tomahawk Mini ITX case. I've been looking forward to getting a look at one of these cases myself because they've been kind of on the horizon and due to come out and so finally I get a chance to look at this and put all this gear inside and then one of you guys will walk away with it in the end. So I'd say this system is ideal for maybe somebody that's been thinking about getting into PC gaming, not been sure what to buy or not really sure what to build and this will be kind of a perfect entry level system. So first let's have a quick look at this case. This is obviously like I've said, it's a mini ITX chassis. So inside you'll be able to install mini ITX, mini DTX motherboard. I really like the look of this kind of minimalist design. Front panel connection looks pretty generous for a mini ITX case. You have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C connection on the front, two 3.5 millimeter uh, audio jacks for your headphones and your microphones and there's a power reset button and then two more USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A connections. The chassis structure is made up completely from steel at 0.8mm thick and on either side there's tempered glass and these are hinged panels so they open up like a door. Same on either side so you have two hinged tempered glass panels. If you give these panels a bit of a wiggle they are quite tight but they do come off so you can move those out of the way when you're installing your system. Then inside like we said mini ITX or mini DTX motherboard you can also fit a graphics card up to 320mm long inside here. You can fit a CPU cooler up to 165mm tall and the case supports SFX power supply installation. In the roof of the case there's space for up to a 240mm radiator and then in terms of storage on the floor of the case you can fit two 2.5 ssd drives and then round the back there's another space for either a 2.5 ssd or a hard drive round there rear panel is pretty typical of this kind of design there's a connection there for power and then a 120 mil fan location rear io and then there's at the bottom there's just three pcie slots then around the right hand side of the case you can see there's various cable management cutouts no rubber grommets but not a big deal in a mini ITX case. Uh, you can see there's the other hard drive bay down at the bottom here. Power supply fits in there but it, it obviously comes in from this side of the case. Uh, SFX power supply like I've mentioned. Front panel design sticks with the understated theme. You have the Razer logo there. I believe that lights up with some LED lighting when the system is on. Front panel pops off easily. Uh, that's made out of steel that front panel as well and then down at the bottom another 120 millimeter fan location and that's protected from dust with this filter and then down at the bottom of the case you could see the mounting points for the 2.5 inch ssds you could potentially fit fans down there as well i think you can fit two 120 mil fans in there and there's also these two rgb led strips and they're razor chroma compatible that razor tomahawk mini itx case is looking pretty good so far it's also Got quite a nice sturdy feel to it as well it feels pretty well built so i'm looking forward to seeing what it's like to build a system inside and that's what we'll get on to next razor has teamed up with other brands to send over all these bits so we've got a really solid entry level gaming system here for the cpu we have an intel core i5 10400f so that is the version without uh, integrated graphics we don't need them because we've obviously got a graphics card. This is a gaming PC after all. Motherboard, we're using this ASRock Z490 Phantom Gaming ITX TB3 motherboard. This is a decent motherboard. I've used this before in a dual system build in the Fantex N2 Pro 2 case. And you've got a Z490 chipset, Thunderbolt 3 connection. So 
this is ideal if you want to upgrade in the future. For memory, we have some G Skill Triant Z RGB 3200 megahertz, 16 gigabyte, two times eight gigabyte modules, and then storage. We have two M.2 NVMe drives. So the boot drive is this Samsung Evo Plus 500 gigabyte drive, and then to store all those massive game files that we have these days. We have a Firecuda 510 series, a two terabyte M.2 NVMe drive, so plenty of storage to get you going there. For graphics, we're using this MSI Gaming Z GeForce RTX 2060. That's a nice card. Cooling the CPU, we have a Be Quiet Dark Rock 4. Another nice CPU cooler there, really nice and quiet, so this system should run nice and cool and quiet. Power is provided to the system by a Corsair SF600. This is an 80 plus gold SFX power supply. Uh, we also have some of these thermal tape ring 12 fans. So decide later whereabouts they're gonna go in the system. And that's pretty much it. Oh, we also have some thermal grizzly cryonaut uh, thermal compound. So that should help keep CPU temperature nice and chilly. So there is everything. All I need to do now is put all that inside there and then we'll, one of you lucky guys will be able to take this home with you.
We're back. Systems all built up, everything's up and running. Everything's working as it should be. I'm just running some 3D Mark Time Spy benchmarks just to check the CPU and GPU temperatures, but they all look fine. Everything's running nice and well within uh, limits of temperature. Uh, you may have noticed during the time lapse, if you watched it all, that I had a slight issue with this Dark Rock 4. Uh, compatibility with the motherboard just wasn't working. So temporarily, I've just swapped that out for an Arctic Freezer i13X cooler, but we plan on getting another Be Quiet, maybe a Pure Rock 2 or something like that, and fitting that into the system before this goes to its new owner. So overall, I'm really happy with how the system looks. RGB lighting is all up and running. The Thermaltake fans are connected to the RGB header on the motherboard and Razer logo on the front, that's all lit up nicely. And obviously there's this RGB underglow lighting that's all working perfectly as well. And as well as looking great, this also should make someone a brilliant entry level system. So don't forget guys, we are giving this system away. So make sure you head over to the kitguru.net website and find out how you can be in with a chance of winning this system. And if you've enjoyed watching this video, if you enjoy the competition giveaways, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and hit the bell button for notifications. And if you want to help Kit Guru in other ways, you could head over to our store, pick up some Kit Guru merch, and don't forget you can get in touch with us through our social media channels such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. And as always, you can head over to the kitguru.net site where you can catch up on all the latest in-depth hardware reviews and catch up on all the latest tech news. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you next time.